Hey, this is Rob, and I wanted to do a short video here for those of you out there that may have faced the same problem that I faced with my inverter and my microwave. Um, I had a Renogy 2000 watt inverter, and I've got an 1800 watt microwave. And what was happening was that the inverter was shutting down uh, for low, low voltage, and the alarm would go off, it would stop after two, two and a half minutes on the microwave. So I you know, checked all my connections and I really checked everything that I could possibly check. I had big enough, large enough gauge wiring, everything was wired up correctly. So I thought, well, you know, that's just a little bit too much. I need a bigger inverter. So I bought a 3000 watt Renogy inverter, and guess what? Exactly the same thing started happening again. So I was baffled again. Checked all the connections, um, made made sure that um, I had the right gauge wiring. I've you know I've probably had too big wiring, you know, if that that's possible. Everything was checking out, and I was at my wit's end. So I had done some searches on the internet, couldn't come up with anything. But then the other day, I got deep into a Reddit thread on this that I had seen before, but there wasn't a solution. But there was a, a solution posted by a guy that described a system that was identical to mine in exactly the same problem. And what he said was he swapped out inverters, he swapped out microwaves, he swapped out wiring, he swapped out everything until the only thing that he hadn't changed was his breaker fuse and it was one of these i'll put it up there the same one that i have it's a fuse that's also a breaker switch I'm pretty sure it's made in china and he replaced that with a higher quality fuse and voila everything worked i did exactly the same thing i replaced it with this um a, a t a t a, it's called a t fuse and it's like slow acting, something like that. I'm not an expert in this stuff. A friend of mine helped me with it. And it solved my problem too. And I had another guy in camp that had exactly the same problem and he switched out his fuse and it solved it. So what we surmised is really happening here was the breaker wasn't tripping. What it was doing was restricting the flow of electricity and creating a low voltage situation going to the inverter. And I wasn't seeing the low voltage because all my Victron monitoring equipment is looking at the voltage and amps coming out of the shunt. And um, the, the switch was on the positive side of the line that's going to the inverter. So I wasn't seeing that. So the inexpensive um, fuse was restricting unnecessarily the flow of um, voltage and amps through there, or in particular, I believe voltage, and that was tripping the low voltage alarm. So if this is your problem and um, you, don't, you have an inexpensive fuse, try the solution and I'll better to work for you. And like I said, I realize not many people are going to be interested in this video, but the people that are interested are going to be very interested. Everybody take care.